Hey, Habs Nation. The situation surrounding young goaltender Yuroslav Askarov is quickly becoming one of the more fascinating storylines in the NHL. After being traded from the Nashville Predators to the San Jose Sharks earlier this year, Askarov now finds himself back in a position that led to his initial trade demand, the AHL. Just recently, the Sharks made the decision to demote Askarov to their AHL affiliate, the San Jose Barracuda, despite his well-known aversion to playing in the minors. It's the very scenario that prompted Askarov to request a trade from Nashville in the first place. Now, having moved from one team to another, he's once again staring at a situation he clearly didn't want. It raises the question of whether another trade demand could be on the horizon, as Askarov appears to be stuck in a frustrating loop. From the perspective of the Montreal Canadiens, this development might pique the interest of general manager Kent Hughes. The Canadians were previously in the mix to acquire Askarov when the Predators put him on the trade block, but ultimately lost out to the Sharks' more attractive offer. Now, with the young netminder situation seemingly deteriorating again, it wouldn't be surprising if Hughes decided to revisit the possibility of bringing Askarov into the Canadians' organization. Askarov, drafted 11th overall by the Predators in the 2020 NHL draft, is widely regarded as one of the top goaltending prospects in the world. His technical prowess, quick reflexes, and athleticism make him a highly coveted talent, and his potential is through the roof. However, his frustration over being placed in the AHL speaks to a young player eager to take on the challenge of being an NHL regular, rather than developing further in the minors. The question now is, how will the Sharks handle this situation? They could keep Askarov in the AHL and hope he adapts, risking another trade demand, or they could explore moving him again, potentially even opening the door for Kent Hughes to re-enter the picture. If Hughes does decide to pursue Askarov once more, he'll need to weigh the cost of acquiring such a high-end prospect against the risk of dealing away valuable assets. The Canadians have young goaltenders like Caden Primo and Jacob Fowler in the pipeline, but none have the same upside as Askarov. Landing a potential franchise goaltender could be a game-changer for the Canadians' rebuild. For now, all eyes will be on San Jose to see how they manage this delicate situation. If things escalate further, don't be surprised if Kent Hughes and the Canadians once again throw their hat into the ring for Yuroslav Askarov. Go Habs go!